Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go out to thrift stores and estate sales and garage sales, and I sometimes buy things from Craigslist. I look for things that either tell me a story or make me feel happy. And then I try to find out as much as I can about them, and then tell you guys about them. I've got something kind of interesting for you today. And it's this. This is a picture frame. <laughs> It's quite a nice one. I've actually opened up the back so that you can see how it's actually made. Uh, the whole thing flips up and then see that kind of satin fabric there in the back. And then this, there's the glass, it's all just set in. And this is the framed headshot picture, whatever you want to call it. This is, by the way, is actually a, I put that down. It's actually a photograph on on matting. It's very nice. And <laughs> if you recognize that, that is Princess Margaret. She is the sister, or was the sister, to the Queen of England. And that right there is her signature. Her signature in pen, 1986. So I'm just going to put this right back into its frame oh yeah and this this by the way that there is a number in the back of it no idea what it means <laughs> can't figure it out um mm, don't really know so this little frame by the way is very well made it's got these little like clip things you basically fold them down and it holds this in place there we go now yeah so this is this is at the top it's actually nailed in and you can see it's taken some damage there. I think it's probably been thrown in the box for a while. Yeah, we're just gonna, yeah, that's all together. So this is actually meant to, obviously, it's a picture frame, it's meant to stand up. And we measure it up. So easy to measure. So that's about a little over seven inches. By a little over nine inches. There we go. All right, so so basically what have I got here? I bought this for $3 in a thrift store that's like a five minute walk from my house um, in the middle of Vancouver. And I can only assume that somebody stuck a, a price tag of $3 on this because they had no idea who that is. And to be honest, I really don't know a whole lot about the British Royals myself. I'm, you know, I'm just Irish and, you know, we kind of just get a lot of this, you know, silly stuff from the UK just by osmosis. So, I mean, like, I can even remember when I was, a, like, when I was a teenager or whatever in the 90s, actually, you know, the, the like, say, the death of Princess Diana was a really big deal. And it was all over the Irish news as well as, you know, everywhere else. And so this is just like, I can't believe this. This is a signed headshot photograph, autographed by Princess Margaret. <laughs> Princess Margaret, sister, queen to the Queen of England. And and I, I basically I picked this up and I thought and I wasn't even sure if it was her because I had no idea what she looked like. I just saw the face and thought, that looks awfully like Princess that that looks awfully like one of the, the British royals and kind of looks a bit like Queen Elizabeth. It's gotta be related to her. And it says Margaret, doesn't she have someone related to her called Margaret? And then obviously it has a date, 1986, which is great for us. That gives us something to actually to date this with. Where did it actually come from? Because obviously you need to have provenance for this kind of thing. So what's the relevance of Princess Margaret, and she obviously signed this, in 1986? So anyway, got some stuff. Come on. So first thing I actually did was like, okay, is there actually any examples of Princess Margaret's autograph? And yes, there is. And you can see... Look at the, look at the, the signature, especially here. Our signature that we have here is very close. It's, it's almost the same style. And I've, I've taken a look at a few different examples. And from what I can find, they are very much like that. The style, like the, the, the little flourishes and everything are quite the same. Obviously, it's not exactly the same because, you know, that's not the same. It's obviously not the same, you know, signature. And, you know, people's signatures are not exactly the same. It's not like, you know, they're not carbon copies of each other. But all the little kind of flourishes, the little kind of style things, the, the, the things that kind of seem to be unique about the signature, they're exactly the same here. You know, the way that she does the M is the same. The way that she does the T stroke is the same. The line underneath 
it's lovely. It's like, I am very, very sure that this is an authentic, that's an actually a, an actual authentic signature. And so anyway, what's the significance of 1986? Well, now it turns out, obviously, the British royals do get around the world quite a bit, you know. And in this case, Princess Margaret actually visited Vancouver in 1986. I don't know exactly why she was here. Apparently she visited Van Dusen Gardens, which is this this very big, um, essentially this is the park with the, the gardens or whatever in the middle of Vancouver. Lovely to visit, by the way, can't recommend them enough. Um, apparently she just went and visited that and did a few other kind of, you know, you know, like stately kind of things that, you know, people that the royals kind of, you know, do, you know, official duties and all this kind of, I, you know, I don't really know because to be honest, I'm Irish and we haven't had kings for a very long time. So that what the royals actually do on a day to day basis, it's completely, I have no idea. But, you know, doing doing the whole shaking hands thing or whatever, apparently that's what she did. But she was definitely in Vancouver in 1986. She visited then. And I'm betting this is from that. I have no idea how it actually got into a thrift store. For, and But but yeah, here you go. Here it is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Now, now, the interesting thing about this is that it actually gave me a chance to read up on Princess Margaret and her life. And I have to say, here's a little bit of a picture. Here's her in, here's her in 1985. And... I have to say, like, the, the Wikipedia article on her is just the saddest thing you've ever read in your entire life. Um, like, she's, she's, she's Queen Elizabeth's younger sister. Um, she died in 2002. Um, apparently she's a heavy smoker and it was lung cancer that got her in the end. Um, but, like, she, she, as, you know, she, she got to her, like, her, late her, her, like, early 20s. She was known to be, like, a, a bacheloress or whatever, you know, and... There is a thing that's often said about the British tabloids, or at least I've heard it quite a bit, and it's and they basically that they build you up and then they tear you down. That British tabloids kind of make a, this game out of hunting their public figures for scandal and gossip. Um, and I again, because I'm Irish, I would have kind of tangentially picked up a lot of this stuff, you know, when I was living in Ireland. And it definitely happened to poor Princess Margaret. Um, she fell in love with an army, like a, a captain, a guy called... Uh, uh, Pete Townsend um, and she actually wanted to marry him but he was divorced and it was a massive scandal at the time because the Church of England wouldn't allow it because they didn't want the princess of England marrying a, a guy who was divorced and had two kids you know and he was 15 years older than but but like they were honestly in love and the the tabloids ripped them to pieces and were just doing nothing with speculating on them and there was all this kind of behind the scenes stuff about like essentially politicking <laughs> Like the queen itself was all in favor of this, but she was just like, is this going to cause a constitutional crisis? Because, you know, the, the succession of the monarchy is a big deal in the UK. And but the actual government itself and, and the, you know, the, the Church of England, that was all just a massively big deal. And eventually she had to make a statement saying, I'm not intending to marry this guy. And essentially just they gave up. They were hounded, the two of them, to the point where they just said, we can't do this anymore. I mean, he loved her. I'm pretty sure from what I've read here that she loved him back. They could not get married. And it seemed like she had her life ruined just from this, you know, this kind of stuff. And it's a real, it's such a sad tale. You know, love isn't, sometimes isn't enough, especially when it comes to this kind of horrible, cliched kind of royal stuff. She eventually had to choose her royal duty over the man that she loved. And it was just, and it was terrible. Like... And the crazy thing is, is that her that was actually probably her most enduring legacy. I think after that, after essentially like Princess Margaret's life was ruined by this entire ordeal that she went through, you know, and I think after that, like Queen Elizabeth basically decided that like, you know, it's not going to matter, you know, because this, this is actually a big thing because, you know, her, oh, what was it again? Um, uh, Edward, one of the, one of the, another one of the royals, I think it was her uncle. Yeah. Her uncle who would have been like Edward the fifth. I want to say he abdicated to marry a divorcee from America <laughs> and that caused a massive scandal and he ended up you know obviously and then Queen Elizabeth and Princess Margaret's dad became the king and that was King George and then obviously he died and you know Queen Elizabeth became queen so like her most enduring legacy is that Queen Elizabeth basically has as far as I know from what we said Princess Liz uh, like Queen Elizabeth has basically decided that it doesn't matter who's going to 
who someone is going to choose in the royal family, they're allowed to, to marry who they want to. That's just going to be acceptable. And we can actually, we can actually see that now, because obviously, like, um, what's his name? Prince Harry married, married an American. And, and then that was, you know, there's all these horrible questions being raised about whether that was okay, just because she's not, you know, part of the, part of British royalty or part of, part of British uh, nobility or something. And, you know, these attitudes kind of survive, but I think it's definitely been lessened because, like, I can even remember, again, back in the 90s, and all the, all the crap that happened to Princess Diana, who essentially just, she divorced Prince Charles, and that was a big deal. And she did the same thing, you know. She went and tried to make her own life, and that just turned into this horrible, you know, and, and she eventually died because it was, again, the paparazzi. They build you up and they tear you down for fun or for entertainment. So... This is this weird little, this weird little relic of a princess and her story who probably deserved a lot better than she got. So I'm kind of just weirded out by the fact that I found it in a thrift store and someone priced it for three bucks. It's, it's, ama it's amazing. It's just, I, I can't even imagine. Now the question is, am I going to get rid of this? Yes, probably because I don't collect autographs. I'm pretty sure that someone is really going to want to want this and want the story behind it. I've tried to price it up and to be honest, I've got, I'm a, I don't, I can't find any similar examples of this. It's probably worth a few hundred dollars, especially to a collector who's interested in like in, in the British Royals in general. So I don't really know. I'm going to have to do some research and then try and figure out like where it can be sold. This could be a case of I'll have to actually open up orders to the UK because it's more likely that a collector in the UK will be interested in this. But I'll have to see. I'm only guessing right now a few hundred dollars, which is kind of nice considering I bought it for three dollars, but I'm really kind of glad that I found the story at least. So I don't know if I'm going to call this joyful, but it is a good history lesson, I guess. So here's what I got for you today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.